Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review for you all. This movie is a horror film from Norway, Norwegian language English subs, released in the year 2022, directed by Vijar Bo, and this film is called Good Boy. So Good Boy is about a woman who's on a dating app. She comes across this very wealthy businessman who is uh, very attractive, and so she matches up with him, they go on a date, the date goes very well, they end up back at his house, and this is where he introduces her to his dog. Now this is the start of a very, very bizarre set of circumstances that makes the main character believe that maybe she's in danger. So whether or not that's the case is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Good Boy. I come into this movie with next to no expectations. No one ever talks about this film and so I was going to give it every opportunity to impress me without outside influence and that's a rarity these days so whenever a movie like this comes along I'm going to take it with both hands and I'm going to hope that this is a film that's an uncovered gem. And so low budget productions as far as Scandinavia is concerned is amongst the best in the world. So that was definitely something that really tickled my excitement. I thought alright well maybe this is going to be a movie that no one talks about but hopefully after I watch it then I could recommend it to everyone. It gets more recognition. So there's countless other Scandinavian low budget productions that I've actually done this to and I was hoping that Good Boy was going to be one of those films that was uh, recommended. So after finally watching Good Boy I will say that there's a lot of interesting ideas in this movie but unfortunately it's not one of those movies that I am excited about uh, for reasons that I'll go into a little bit later but what I liked about this film was the sense of curiosity that the film produces. Now this is a very crazy story, it's a very messed up story, it's a very dark and disturbing story and I kept feeling as that I wanted to see where this director was taking me and so although the overall storytelling wasn't the best I was still captivated by that level of mystery. I'm not going to give anything away but I thought as though alright that captivated me to a point where I wanted answers. So a lot of these films if you don't grab me straight away you have a problem but I still thought as though it was so crazy this story so out of left field that I thought I want to know how this unfolds and it unfolds in a very deep and disturbing way which is something that I really appreciated and so low budget independence uh, movies really have to be different they have to separate themselves from the pack because they don't have mega budgets to rely on and you have to create a story and so emphasis is on the story as far as low budget uh, movies are concerned and the story is definitely one that I thought uh, made me want to watch it to the end and so although the movie does have pacing issues uh, and there are many issues to this film I still wanted to see it to the end and so that is definitely a plus I thought production wise the cinematography was very dark and gloomy the soundtrack very dark and gloomy and you always had that ominous feeling that something is off about this businessman and so as the clues are fed to you I thought okay well I'm on I'm not on the edge of my seat as much as I want to but I, I want to see what is going to happen to this main character and what happens to this man and his dog so that was the positive to the film but unfortunately the biggest negative to this movie is the writing I thought the writing it didn't create characters that I could re relate to and that was an issue because the overall story I couldn't relate to as well you have to have a strong sense uh, a suspension of disbelief to actually get through this film because really silly things start to happen it gets a little bit too messed up for its own good and you start asking questions as to why this is happening why is this character doing this and why is this character doing that and the qu answer to those questions uh, it, the movie needs to progress and so you know you're watching a film it has no sense of reality to it uh, and so I never could relate to what was going on I couldn't relate to these characters I always felt as though I was watching a caricature sort of cartoon of really messed up situations and just how it's going to spiral in a domino effect as opposed to actually gravitating to the actual experience so I thought the characters the, the writing they had absolutely no depth I didn't care what was going on I didn't really care about whether or not this character was going to land in a bad situation. The movie relies on its story. The movie relies on its sense of difference, but unfortunately you come to a point where you're a little bit too different for your own good and you lose the audience. And once you lose the audience, you don't really have too much to bank on. This is not an overly gory film. Yes, the end of the movie is actually quite messed up, but it's actually getting to that end that I thought was the struggle because I disconnected myself. I didn't relate to anything. I didn't care about anyone. And I was just seeing how messed up the next situation was going to be. And after a while, it does to become very very stale and I thought by the time the movie finished yes it finished on a positive note as far as really disturbing me but it didn't have that impact because I checked out well before and so that suspension of disbelief it movie needed to have at least one foot grounded in reality to allow the viewer to actually connect but the lack of connection in this movie makes it a, a little bit of a chore to get through by the halfway stage it just gets more and more silly and the sillier it gets the further away the movie goes away from the viewer and therefore you feel 
feel as though it's a very hollow experience. And so you know you've watched something different, but unfortunately difference by itself can't really drag a film over the finish line. So that was my biggest issue with Good Boy. It is a very disturbed story, but as I said, a, a little bit too silly for its own good and no really relatable qualities based in the sense of reality. So overall for Good Boy, yes it's messed up, but I needed more. I'm going to give this film at two stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.